Candida auris is a yeast that can cause severe invasive infections, including wound infections, ear infections, and dissemination into the bloodstream. First reported in Japan, it was considered by the CDC to be an emerging pathogen due to an increasing number of cases since its identification in 2009. It's been reported in over a dozen countries, including Canada, Colombia, India, Kenya, Kuwait, Norway, the UK, and the USA. It isn't known why this pathogen has emerged in so many different locations. Molecular typing of sea or strains have suggested that isolates are related within countries but highly distinct between regions. Focusing on the USA, there have been a total of 77 clinical cases of sea auris reported to date, and these have been reported across seven different states. Furthermore, screening of the close contacts of these patients have revealed a further 45 individuals with sea auris isolated from one or more body sites. The CDC first alerted US healthcare providers to sea auris in June 2016. Although all US cases have responded to drugs thus far, some strains of Seoris have been reported to have elevated minimum inhibitory concentrations for the three major class of antifungal drugs. This makes treatment difficult, requiring high doses of multiple antifungals. Second, the pathogen is difficult to identify and can commonly be misidentified using traditional biochemical methods. Although it can be correctly identified using specialised laboratory methods, the concern here is that frequent misidentification can lead to misdiagnosis, inappropriate treatment and an underreporting of cases. In addition, unlike other yeasts, Seoris appears to have a propensity for transmission between patients. In healthcare settings, it has been reported to be transmitted via contaminated environmental surfaces and person-to-person -person contact. This is exemplified by an ongoing outbreak in a London cardiothoracic centre which has seen over 50 cases between April 2015 and July 2016. Finally, although data is hard to come by, Seoris has been reported to have a mortality rate of up to 60%. Even if this is an overestimation, this yeast can cause severe invasive infections and in the worst case, fatalities. So, should we be concerned about Seoris? Well, the CDC has stated concern with an increasing number of cases since its identification, a potential to be multidrug resistant and a propensity for transmission. Ongoing research will look at best treatment practices in addition to implementing infection prevention and control measures to ensure this pathogen doesn't spread any further in the US or globally. Want to learn more about candidiasis? Take a look at our fungal diseases section on ID Hub now and be sure to follow us on both Facebook and Twitter.